Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hey man, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch Rick and Morty season 5, episode 10, the last episode of this season 5. Today I watched already the two last episodes of this season 5. If you want to see my reaction videos about them, I'm gonna put the links into the eye. If you want the playlist for Rick and Morty with all of the episodes, you know my reaction videos about all of the episodes into the chronological order, I'm gonna put the playlist and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, while I was talking, I was like, girl, you seem excited and all. Are you feeling okay? And just me to myself into my mind, I was like, no, I'm not feeling okay. And that's why you add that creepy loss just right there. I'm sorry for it. Sometimes, you know, I forget that <laughs> the internal conversations that I have right there into my mind, you can't hear them. So you can't appreciate why am I reacting like that or like that? Why am I doing weird stuff like that? Now, you know. Guys, the two last episodes surprised me. I'm not gonna come back to it, you know. I'm not gonna come back to the fact that before the episode 8, I told you that I was disturbed by this season 5, that I appreciated it, that it was truly fun, but that I didn't see, you know, the purpose of the writers with it. I had the impression that they were going nowhere with the characters by making evolutions for them or by making the story evolve. And episode 8, we had something about bird person, we resolved the situation with bird person who is out there searching for his kid, not knowing that in fact it's a doctor and that's gonna be a cool character to meet at some point. And the last episode was about Rick and Morty relationship. It was not the first time that we had a situation like that, but it was about really the fact that separated from each other, you know, trying to have other teammates it's not functioning, it's not okay, it's finishing bad and all. But at the end, you know, for once, because we already had that before, but at the end, for once, in fact, they are truly telling to each other, we have a toxic, abusive relationship and we need to stop that and they are really getting separated with Rick running away. Running away! Being drunk as fuck, is it really a surprise for him to not face his feelings and to prefer alcohol? Not really, but with a song. And when an episode of Rick and Morty is finishing with a song, we know that the situation is bad. With Rick talking directly to the camera about the next seasons. So how can I have right there one more episode to watch? And finishing for Morty with Morty crying that much and all, all by himself. The situation is bad, really bad. We had bad situations before, like if we have to remember when they went into that planet and when Rick gave himself to the authorities, you know, to the police, or when we have to think about that moment with Bess who, you know, threatening Rick like that, like we had bad situations before. But right there, the fact that it's about Rick and Marty relationship it's worst because it's really the DNA of this show, their relationship. And yes, it's an abusive, toxic relationship since season one, episode one. Like it was never, you know, the two of them working as equals, not really. First season, Marty was just enjoying, you know, to, to spend time with his grandfather. Second season, he was beginning to be tired of it. Third season, he left him behind plenty of times. Marty left rig behind because he was really tired of it at many occasions. I'm not gonna talk about this episode, you know, with Morty killing Rick's uh, me. I'm not gonna talk about it. But we had that also and you know, season 4 and season 5 I had the impression that they worked on their relationship a little, at least in most of the episodes, that because 
Marty was growing up and was involving into the good direction. You saw it at some point, I was scared of him involving into the bad direction, you know, getting so impulsive, like being so mad about stuff that it would turn bad. And I even imagined that maybe it would turn like even Marty. For Marty to go in another direction and all, I was like, that's it, it's evolving because of that. Also, Rick is changing because the situation into the family is changing also. So Rick is forced to change because he wants to stay with them and all. Like, I was seeing good stuff happening. So for these two to get separated like that at the end of the last episode, it's shocking me. I'm really lost with the situation, with what can happen right now, even more because it's the final episode and the last one was not. And you know, the fact that Rick left like that, you know, I'm thinking also about Bess. You left Bess also in a way by leaving Marty like that. Bess, how is she gonna take it? I'm not gonna talk about the fact that they let Jerry on the, f on the floor, you know, uh, as water and all, like I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm really just gonna focus on the stuff which are gonna have consequences. And for me, it's Rick leaving, leaving Marty, leaving Bess, leaving this entire family. You know, with what we discovered during the episode with Bert Person, with Rick trying to have a revenge against the Ricks for her death, meaning possibly his wife's death. It's going with my theory of his wife and daughter dying and then him going into another reality to meet Bess, a Bess who was without his dad. And you know, that's why when they switched realities and families, he was not so disturbed and all. I'm worried. I'm worried for Rick, what is he gonna do now that he left his family? And for him, it's because of good reasons. You know, he didn't leave because it was something selfish and all. Like right there for him, he left because he knew that their relationship was bad and he wanted to do something good. So it's even more disturbing for me because, okay, he left and he was drunk and he was sad and that was bad. But for him, he left for good reasons. So he has no reasons to come back. Like Marty, I don't see reasons for him to search for Rick. At the end, Marty, I mean, at the end of the last episode, Marty said, because he knew it, that they need to be together, that having another partner, it sucks, like, are meant to be together, you know, as partners and stuff like that in adventures. But now, I'm disturbed. I'm truly disturbed. I don't know what can happen during this real final episode of the season. I, I really don't know what I'm gonna see right there. How are we gonna have Mr. Putty Butt on during the, uh, the post credit scene? Please, no. We didn't have him for the season 4. So I have some hope that we're not gonna have him right there. Okay, I think that I'm gonna stop this intro right now and I'm gonna watch this episode like I have nothing more to say because I don't know really what I can prepare myself for for this episode so let's go for this episode remember that if you want to have my Patreon on which you can have extended or full reaction part like for the episode 8 I'm gonna put the full one for the episode 9 I think that I'm gonna put an extended one but really with all of the last scene that's extended reaction part you know I'm not cutting each five seconds, like for the YouTube version, you have really the, the scene as I wanted you guys to see it with really all of my reactions about it. If you can be interested by these advantages, to have also five episodes of Advance for Rick and Marty, and to have this longer reaction part, it's on my Patreon, and also it's the best way to support me, if you can, if you want. <laughs> Let's go for this final episode of the season. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> At first I was like, I clicked on the wrong stuff. It's an anime, in fact. Rick? Rick? Good to see you. You're like, looking like into crows still. Well, I, I was just in the neighborhood. It, it wasn't like just that the battle for crows is kind of never ending. No. Take care, Morty. You, you, you are an hero or not? <laughs>
Okay, it's really made, you know, to mock animes, okay? Pussy Town, are we sure of that? You look like a cousin of Scrunchy Scratch. I must have one. For that long, and you, you didn't change, and you, you changed oh, that much. I got sick, you know. Stage four. You would have loved it. Summer's a nurse. No. She married a junkie. What? Rick, come home. Well, we still got a little time. Sure. Okay. A summer finishing with a junkie. We saw her, you know, into that other world with the cannibals. You look like shit, and this is not how I want to remember you. Now that I have these two. Uh. What? I'm confused. Oh, 
hold him. Who's the music? How many rigs did you kill? It's not your name? You went after the one who killed them? But you never found him! So there is an evil rig out there that you never found at your revenge? Yes, now everyone can shut up about it. You're talking to us, to the viewers. Aren't you? Tired of him for good. You come back because they dumped you. There you go, kid. Now you're evil, Morty, too. But oh, I'm not gonna talk about him. Oh, this episode. What the fucking fuck? I mean, wh wh what was that? The, huh? I'm trying to collect all of the parts of my brain who which are right there on the floor, you know, when my mind exploded. You know, really, mentally, I'm trying to pick up all of the things. Like, we began with an anime situation with Rick. I, I, didn't, I don't even understand if he was a villain or a hero when he, he 
he killed, you know, this horse. I'm not even sure of that. I'm just sure that we had an anime situation with an anime credit moment and all that at some point you made me believe that time was not progressing the same for Rick and for Morty that we had Jerry who died somewhere somehow with a junkie again with who she was you know into the cannibal uh, planet uh, planet reality I don't even remember but you know the girl loves weird people so I was not so so surprised but for Jerry, yes. So we began everything with that. To after that discover that everything was a lie, that Marty lied, that he was not 40, that everything was okay with the family, with the situation, that Rick was coming back home, so I was glad. After that, to know that they would go to the Citadel, I was like, hmm, bad, 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 because even Marty. To discover that the Citadel was looking so good, so great and all, I was like, oh, insane, so great. Perfect! But after that, to have that meeting with Ivar Morty, I knew that something would go wrong. But that reveal, you know, I think that it's the truth. I think that Rick, I don't know how and when, do we know that? Did we see that? I'm wondering. He knew that he would have a grandkid at some point and that he would love him so much and that he would leave all of his adventure with this grand kid so he made everything possible you know to have this grand kid so that's why he pushed Bess and Jerry together the fact that we discovered that Rick created that couple it's making me so mad for all of the time that he said that their couple was a failure he is responsible for that and because he's selfish in a way, because he wanted for sure Morty to exist and to live all of these adventures with him. It's because of Rick being so selfish that they are together and they made Morty so he could have Morty. Uh, so Rick, really, I don't want to ever listen to him, you know, saying something bad about their couple, their relationship. Clearly. See how mad I am? Rick, you escaped. From that place with that weird creature like do we really need to talk about it like we have so many other stuff to deal with during this episode that i don't want to lose time with a creature who is enjoying pain that much that that creature is screaming like it's having an orgasm yeah. you escape after that Ivan Marty he tricked everyone to use the portal guns to kill everyone to almost kill everyone because he wanted to do a reset with everyone going bad, you know, into the sinks to take their bloods, you know, to take them to create that, I don't know, to, to name it, it's a, it's a curve situation thing, like that's what Ivan Morty said, like he even used the name thing, the curve thing, kind of a black hole, you know. He used them to create that black hole, but Morty decided to not follow Ivan Morty. Ivan Morty lied about having place, you know, another place into his ship. But no matter what, it's not important. What's important is the fact that Morty didn't accept that deal. Morty wanted to save Rick. If Rick is the Rickest Rick, Morty is the Mortyest Morty. He's gonna continue to follow, to walk with Rick and that way at the end you know they can only save themselves if they are working together you know you need your partner to do it it's really meaningful you know that was a cool moment you managed to save some of the Mortys but I, I don't remember you know that we had Ricks on that thing so you're the only Rick still alive and even Marty you want into that black hole? It's what? It's a universe without any Rick into it? I'm not even sure that I understand that part, you know. That's why, you know, when everything ended, I said, I don't understand because I'm not sure that I understood that part. Where did he want Ivan Morty? I don't understand that. And, you know, no, 
Yonda is the only Rick still alive because we need Rick to have his revenge. Now that we know for sure Rick's backstory, and you know Rick saying that's it now stop you know uh, talking about it. He was clearly talking to the viewers because I'm so sure that I was not the only one you know discovering episodes of Rick and Morty who ask the question each time about Rick's backstory. So really it was the writer saying oh we're getting tired of you <laughs> just being focused on that and not having fun anymore so now you have it so stop talking about it, asking for it. That's it, we're giving everything to you. So I was right about the first part, you know, the fact that this memory that we saw at some point was real, that you truly lost your wife and your daughter. But I thought that after that, he went on a reality where he, he had, you know, I mean, where they lost their rig, so he replaced that rig in a way. But no, first you did a lot of weird things and all, you met bird person, and that's why you killed some ricks also with bird person. At some point you wanted your revenge against that other rick, you tried to search for him, but you never found him. You killed a lot, a lot, a lot of ricks. At some point it changed and you created the citadel with other ricks. So that's why you and the citadel, you know, it's a question of love and hate because you ate all of the ricks, you killed a lot of them, and they have reasons to hate you for that, to be afraid of you and all. But at the same time, you created the citadel with them. But when we don't have that part of the story, when did he go? on base, you know... Oh yes, that's the end of the scene when Rick is coming back, you know, on his house and it's on fire and we have Bess almost crying. That's when he came back into Bess's life, one Bess's life. But really, I thought that it was earlier. I mean, for me, he left Bess when she was a kid and he came back into her life when she was a teenager, something like that. I had that wrong since the beginning. In fact, he left, I mean, that Rick for Bess left when she was a kid and came back when she was an adult. I didn't understand it like that, not at all. But in which family did you come back? We don't know, you know, what was their Rick at the beginning. And for sure, you still need your revenge against the Rick who killed your wife and your daughter your original best and wife. I was right about that feeling that switching realities and family with Marty didn't disturb him because it was not the first time that he did it. Because he already lost his real original family and right there it was not his real original family so it was not disturbing for him. But clearly I couldn't have guessed all of the situation with to want his revenge, to go for it, for the citadel, to be created and all. It responded to a lot of questions, you know, this episode for sure about Rick's backstory. All of it. All of it! His wife, his daughter, yes. The citadel, yes. How he went on that new family, yes. Bird person, the picture that bird person has with Rick and the baby, we don't have the answer about that, but I think that for the rest, we have the answer about all of the rest. Even Marty, you were so tired of Rick's bullshit, you know? That's why you wanted to do that, you planned all of that. I love, you know, I mean I love. I appreciate all of the discussion about the fact that Rick considers himself as the victim since the beginning, since all of that happened to his family and that way after that he's justifying all of the bad things that he did to Morty but also to all of the other ones. I appreciate you know all of what Morty, even Morty said about it because you know we have also all of that thing about Rick being alcoholic, being an addict and stuff like that. I mean it's a conversation that you could say you could give 
to someone who is addicted to his own alcoholic or something like that like you can have reasons to to be an addict a lot of bad things happen to you and all but to use it as a justification as an excuse to do bad things to other people it's not okay and i think that if you know me since a long time if you watch my reaction videos about other shows and all I think that at other occasions, not so many, at a few occasions, you heard me saying that also, that I worked a lot on myself to understand that people can have reasons to do bad stuff, like some people, you know, they lift a lot of bad stuff into their lives and it's reasons, but it's not excuses to do bad stuff also. And really, I, I worked a lot on myself and I made a therapy, you know, during two entire years to understand that. So I wouldn't stop, you know, to, to pardon other people to do bad stuff to me. Because, you know, when people were doing bad stuff to me, were bad with me, each time I was like, yes, they are doing bad stuff and it's bad, they are hurting me, but I understand them because they lived so many bad things. I know their reasons and it's so bad. I understand them, so I was feeling bad because I was up, but I was also feeling bad because they were feeling bad and I knew the reasons why they were feeling bad and they were bad with me. So you know, uh, it was uh, just a cycle of pain and for me, only for me, because the person was not feeling bad for the bad stuff that that person was doing to me. Stop. During a long part of my life, I was like, Bad people, they have their reasons, so it's excusing, you know, the bad stuff that they can do, including the bad stuff that they can do to me. And I worked a lot on myself to understand that it's reasons, it's reasons to, to, to be bad, to feel bad, to do bad stuff, it's reasons. But it can't be excuses because you can choose to act differently with this bad stuff which happened to you. You can choose to work on yourself you can make that work you, you know like it can't be excuses it can be reasons but not excuses and right there with what Ivan Marty said about Rick I felt a little the same discussion you know or maybe it's just me who made the parallel with my situation and what happened right there but I felt it like that I'm not saying that it's easy, you know, to make that work on yourself. I mean, the work that I made or also for these people to make that work on themselves and to not use these reasons as excuses. It's also a work that they have to do on themselves and sometimes they don't know that they have to make that work. It's really an hard work and it's taking time. But sometimes also they think that they make th that work and in fact, not at all. They, they chose, in fact, to not make it or they chose to act like they did it, but in fact, not at all. Yes, the persons who hurt me were into these two situations, you know, thinking that they made that work and in fact, not at all. Choosing to not make that work willingly. For me, right there, Rick is not into these two cases because for me, Rick, during all of these seasons that we had with him, you know, like all of the seasons of this show, we saw him evolving a lot. And including right there, you know, during this episode, by choosing to leave because he knows that he's into an abusive, toxic relationship with Marty, choosing to come back. Okay, because the crows then left, but also because he knows that he needs his family that much, like before that. He wouldn't have done it, maybe Rick, at least it would have taken more time for him and all. And I think that Marty knows it and that's why he's deciding to save Rick no matter what. Because he knows that what happened right there with the two crows and all didn't represent all of the evolution that Rick had during this entire time that he had with him. It was an episode full of information, full of reviews. Clearly, during this intro, I said after the two last episodes, one about Bert Person and one about Rick and Morty relationship, this one needs to be huge with information, with reveals, with surprises. I'm not disappointed. <laughs> we have the entire backstory of Rick. We have Ivor Morty and his 
plan we have oh so many things even that anime situation you know i'm considering it uh, as something you know something big oh to discover also the thing about best and jerry oh, really if i'm re-watching this show you know at some point like for sure for the season six and all of the, the other seasons which are gonna come you're gonna hear me talk about it each time that rick is gonna be bad with you know, judging their relationship, each time I'm gonna say, it's you who created it, so shut the fuck up. But if I rewatch this show, I'm gonna scream it each time. Ah, each time you're gonna hear me screaming, you did it, so shut the fuck up. Yes, with that voice, <laughs> that tone of voice. <gasps> that was a huge episode. For sure, I'm gonna put the four action part on my Patreon. I'm glad that at the end of this session I've been writing, like, I need to think about it. All of what we discovered right there. I mean, really, so I think, you know, I planned at first not to watch new episodes right now. I was watching at the hour, but for another reason. But to watch new episodes of Rick and Morty in two or three days, I planned that at first. But I think that I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait at least, you know, one week to have more time to think about it and to digest it the information but also the ah, all of what happened oh, it was huge <laughs> yes i'm losing it a little i'm like big that was big that was huge <gasps> tell me what did you think about this episode the first time that you saw it i'm intrigued by that you know Normally, I'm asking that when one episode is out, one new episode for everyone, so everyone is sharing, you know, his or her opinion about it. Like right now, I'm watching each time, you know, each week, the new episode of The Last of Us, so normally I'm asking that at the end of the video. So for Rick and Marty, I think that I never asked it, but right there, I want to know. The first time that you watched this episode, what did you think of it? Were you like me? Please tell me that you were. Okay, I'm gonna stop this review right now, so it's all for you and for me for this video, so it's all for me for now, so bye for now. Bye! Wait a minute, wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Crazy. <laughs>